How do you import your own loops and samples or samples that you've downloaded into your GarageBand iOS project? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. If you're into tips, tricks and tutorials all about home and mobile recording, consider subscribing to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you something that a lot of folks are looking to do, which is to bring in their own MP3s, their own waves, their own samples and loops into GarageBand or samples and loops that they've downloaded from the internet into their own project. So let's spend no more time talking and let's jump in and show you how we get this done. So I've opened GarageBand, I've tapped new document and I'm here in a fresh new project. Now what I want to do is show you two different methods we can use. The first, I'm going to tap on the audio recorder here and then I'm going to tap the track view in the top left here to go back to my track view. Now what we can do to add in our own sample is in the top right corner we have this loop icon. Let's tap on the loop icon now. Now if you get an option like this, it just means you've got some files stored somewhere else. I'm going to tap move files and it will move those in here. Now what you'll see here already is all of the samples and all of the WAV files and all the MP3s that I've already imported are already here to go. So I've got some drum breaks, I've got some loops, and I've got some beats in here. But if they're not already in here under that Files tab, what I can do is I can actually browse the rest of my iPhone or iPad to actually find these sounds. So let's tap on the Browse Item from the Files app, and we'll jump straight in here to the Files app. Now, what we can do from here is wherever you've stored your files, we can actually go there and actually download them straight into our project. So in my case, I've used the iCloud drive here, and I've got a music folder here. I'll tap on music, and I've got sound effects and recordings here. So I've got some different things here. I've got a market background sound, a cash register sound, but here's some samples, some drum samples that I've been using lately in a few examples. So if I wanted to bring in this ED Crash 9 sample that I got from lander.com, there's a link in the description to where you can download these free samples. I'm going to tap on this one. It's going to download it to my iPad or the same process on your iPhone. It's downloaded that, and then it's going to pop it here in my GarageBand file transfer folder. So if I scroll up here, what was it called? ED, there it is, ED crash. If I tap on that one now, it's gonna preview that sample. We've got a cool gong sound crash in here, there. Now to bring this into my track, I tap and I hold on this one and you can see there it's got a little flashing thing. I then drag it across and I throw it straight down in my track. Now, if I had a loop here and I had other things going on, I would be able to just add this in. In fact, let's just mute this for the time being. Let's just throw in a drum loop by going into our loops again, going into Apple loops and just bringing in, let's just grab a random drum loop here that we can use. So what can we grab? Let's go with uh, something like this. No, we want something that's gonna be. Yeah, let's go with the King Ensemble from Africa. We'll drag this one in using that same method. So we've got our drum loop here. Now, what if we wanted a big sort of gong to come in here? We can just line up our sample by just dragging it across like that. And then if we unmute that one, let's just play this little section here. There's our beat. And again, you can position these now to make them right where you want them. Want that a little bit earlier? And you can hear that there that you can add in any type of sample you want in here. I've just used a gong sound, but you can use anything you like here, any sort of riser, any sort of loop, any sort of break, any sort of beat. You can bring it in using the same method. So that's method one. Let's jump across now and I'll show you the second method for using samples here in GarageBand. So what we're gonna do now is tap the big plus button in the bottom left here, and this time we're gonna slide across, and to add a sample, we're gonna use our sampler. So here under keyboard, we can tap on sampler, and this brings us into our sampler. Now we can actually create our own sample by tapping on the start button and recording there, and I've got a video linked up the top there and down in the description if you wanna learn how to do that. But in this example, I'm gonna import a sample that I've already got here. So let's tap the import button in the top right corner, and it's gonna pop up this dialog. We can either use an Apple loop, or again, we're gonna tap on the file here so I can bring in any of these samples that I've already got here but if I've got again another one that's in my files app and if you if you're not sure how to actually download samples on your browser in your iPad or your iPhone I've got another video so that'll be linked up there right now and again down in the description that that'll show you how you can download if you don't have the ability to use a PC or a Mac no problem if you can go to a website you can download the samples and please keep in mind you want to use free unlicensed or sorry free samples that you have the license to actually use don't use commercial samples that you don't have the ability to use all right let's jump in here now so again I'm going to go iCloud Drive and I was already there but I'll just show you under music here we'll go to 
the sound effects and recordings. I'll go into my samples here, and this time let's bring in uh, let's bring in a hi hat, shall we? So we'll just grab the hi hat here, hat O2. We're going to tap it. It's going to download the sample. It's going to throw it here into our GarageBand file transfer folder. And in fact, I'd already put it in here. It sounds like this. So it's a bit of a sort of open hi hat sound. Again, this time, what we need to do to add this is we're going to tap this button on the far right next to that sound. So we'll tap that one. And this brings it into our sampler. And now we can actually play the sample. So this is really cool for voice samples and for other types of samples where you want to like get a bit of an effect. In fact, I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, we can actually put this in here. So let's just add this in by tapping the record button and playing the sample. So we can add that sample in there. And now if we come back to our track view screen, there you can see we've got our original crash sample up here. And if we just tap this, tap it again and go loop, then we can actually bring all of this together. So let's just play this little section here. So there you go, we've added in two external samples that don't exist here in GarageBand and we've imported those and brought them into our track. Can you see how powerful this is and can you see how flexible this can be to create your songs? I think it's super cool. All right, I did mention one more thing. So if you don't want to import a sample, here's a little bonus one. You can create your own sample. So let's just have some fun here to finish off and then I'll let you get back to your creating. We're going to tap the keyboard. We're going to tap on sample. And what we can do is if we hit the start button, I can record my own sample here. So let's just make a funny noise. Boop, and hit the stop button there. And now boop, 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 boop. we can play along to our own track. So let's hit record and bring in a little bit of Pete. And there you go. So yes, you can see here that you can have some fun with this too. My kids love using the sampler because they can bring their own sounds in here and... You can create some pretty unique sounds. There you go, the sampler and the ability to import samples using those loops options here in GarageBand. Very cool ways to enhance your tracks. There you go, I hope that helps you bring in those samples, those loops, those custom sounds to really make your beats and your songs pop. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can drop those down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I will see you on the next video.